so I think I'm where that is maybe I'm guessing that's what the blue arrow means and I need to go here so I'm gonna set a course by hitting this button but I'm not gonna fast travel I don't know if that'll matter. Is, is, is that asking me to fast travel or not? I don't know. I think that might be... Maybe it plots a course and then you get a cutscene. Let's see what happens, I guess. This game might actually require it, but we'll see uh, maybe if we can actually free roam space. I don't think I can, considering that I can't even roam around a, a planet truly. Like that's not actually a planet in front of me, it's just like a JPEG or something. At least it looks like one joking. It's really like a 3D model or something, but still. It's not a... It's no No Man's Sky. You can't go straight down to the planet. At some point when I get close enough, it'll say, do you want to land or something? I'm sure. It has to. Like, what else would it do? doesn't tell me, but I can also mouse forward for this, which I'm going to start doing now, because pressing G and also trying to maneuver myself is really fucking with my, my movement.
It's cool how it overflows into other things if you don't have it. Now I just have to get that. Cool. Just works. Wait, that was a cooking thing? What the hell? Wait, I want to go back and see what I interacted with. What? What am I using? Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't see it last time. There's nothing there. Okay, so this is the stuff I already know how to make, I guess. I just need to have the items. Got it. I, I know some alien food. Whoa, because I'm... It's like part of my background. By now it would have changed. It looks like I'm moving. Sit down, what are you doing? Okay. Wow, definitely not moving. Wow, you have to sit down. really wants me to open the planet map. I guess because I'm so close to it, I've reached the point of being able to land. So I can actually pick where I'm going, and I just didn't even realize. Because I'm truly ignoring the HUD. There's really too much that gets shown to the player there. I would love to turn it all off. Okay, so basically it's telling me to, to go find the research station, which is right here. Okay. I will land at your predestined location. Let us land. You need to research chairs. You're flying around in a nuclear-powered anti-gravity machine. 
but chairs have been a head scratcher so far. Yes. It's just too confusing, man. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Ikea just makes it way too confusing. Let's make a full save, like an actual save. I have not even done that. I guess it did when I first started. Okay. Captain, protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Okay. So what, what, hey man, you gotta tell me. Why, why is this Crimson Fleet captain after Barrett? What's going on? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times, and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. My Immersion just who are you and Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small, should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Oh wow, this, there's like nobody in this group at all. I shall become the leader of Constellation, I foresee it. Why is Barrett trusting me with his ship? Is he crazy? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. It, did we just get a spoiler? He's always known me. Are we going back in time in this game? I bet it's going to have something to do with time travel. If the devs really liked Interstellar, I wonder. Let's trade gear. Do you require assistance with your items? He has ammo. You know, now that he mentions that, do I even have storage? Is there some chest or something in here? Because I saw nothing. Is it time to dump shit on the ground? Nightwear.
There's no... Like, ship storage, or... Here, maybe? I grabbed something. You can only hold so much shit, though. Wait. Oh no. Why did they do this? Look at all this wasted space. And you can't show what's in the 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 thing and in your inventory at the same time. UI is too hard. You can put stuff in your ship's cargo hold from your inventory, I think. Wait, hold on. Okay. Uh, ship? Maybe from ship? Now that this is here, yeah, I can probably do something about that. Let's see. Cargo hold. Okay. look at whatever this thing was before I forget. Okay, it was this. What? What happened? I didn't mean to store it. I guess I'm locked into like a cargo inventory managing thing instead of looking at the inventory itself. Very misleading. that's weird is when it has uh, a selection like this where you have a shitload of items it it automatically puts it to the last thing like it's it's full so it makes this store all button almost useless 
Like, it would make more sense if it started like this. So instead I'm just hitting E a bunch of times, instead of hitting e R, R at all, like R is never used. I guess I could have maybe hit it from here instead of... Great, more playing cards, like this is New Vegas. Like here, can I do it here? No, you have to hit use first. Again, it seems like a wasted hotkey that doesn't need to be there at all. So much junk. Okay. same. I am programmed for combat. Is there air? You don't know?
Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Right, we can scan things, just like No Man's Sky. Fauna, flora, resources. Got it. Okay. Scan. I can't scan. <clears throat> to be looking at, like, certain things. Like that. Cool. I like how quickly that disappears. I don't know... Like, what that's really trying to show me. I guess it's... It just seems like a useless animation. in this survey mode or whatever, scan mode, you can't put away your weapon because it's tied to the reload button, which is R. Cool. More things to rebind. So re refine whatever outpost button is. Oh. Dust root. Okay. We did it. Wow. I really feel like I accomplished something by doing that. Amazing. Truly innovative gameplay. Run up to things and press E on them. Wow. Yeah, the number went up. My dopamine hit. I need to make the number go higher. Oh. Yes. Wait, is it not scanning it at all? Oh, I see. I'm scanning percentages on the right. Okay. Another thing. What is this? Hurts me. Extreme heat gas vent. Protection regen. I guess my my suit heals me or something. I don't know.
Just a fucking root.
Trying to see how to like rotate the camera if you can. I don't think you can. Or tilt it in any way. Nope. I don't see a way to do that. Also, it's not like there's a whole lot of map to look at anyways. It's just like this square area. It's like they just kind of gave up on the map. They didn't want to bother trying to procedurally generate one. Just put points on a thing and make it look like hills or something. Okay, I feel like I've wandered too far from what I should be doing, so let me go back here <laughs> and do the quest. Maybe we can do some combat. I'm trying to see if I can find the resource that I've been missing, but... I don't see it. I'm sure it'll show up whenever it wants to. Whatever. How's Morrowind the only Bethesda game with a good map feature? I don't know. I feel like I've had to mod the map in like all the games. Even Elder Scrolls Online I've modded the map. That's not even a Bethesda game. I don't know, I think it's ZeniMax Online. Okay, so I guess we have to go break into this place or whatever kill people here. see a way to like do a heavy attack or something. Barrett and the Crimson Fleet have something of That's another thing that desperately needs to be fixed. If I'm talking to somebody and then back out of the conversation, they need to finish what they're saying. How is that not part of the game? The dialogue has gotten worse. the game continues to like railroad the, or not railroad but um like full stop the player from making progress I got to like the next area or whatever immediately and forced into menus if I want to you know 
benefit off of it. I could just ignore it for now. Could sneak, decrease carrying capacity, health. Do we upgrade? Oh no, there are upgrades. Okay. Yeah, you can see the current rank. Pickpocket targets. Adds an optional zoom to the hand scanner. Okay, so this is the thing that I was asking for. A zoom feature. But I'm forced into using that shitty UI on top of it, which is what I don't want. I just wanna like right click and zoom in my vision just a little bit. You know? An attempt to hack advanced locks. Two auto attempts have been banked. Maybe we do that. I want to be able to unlock things that are probably going to be locked away. Ship targeting functionality. Targeting control systems. to lock onto enemy ships is reduced. Fire at you slower. This, this is like, um... This is like VATS, but for your ship, I guess. boost pack training. Uh, only one skill point. There's a bunch of things I want. Oh, the grind. Having more health would help a lot. I'm really dying quickly, but that's really because it's on very hard. I'm sure if I dropped the difficulty, the the damage done to the player would be a lot less. Ballistic weapons, melee weapons. Okay, maybe uh, I don't have a, a boost pack yet or whatever, so maybe I'll try to unlock that when I get one, because I don't think I have that, and I don't think it just gives me it. Maybe it does. Maybe it unlocks. There's no way like it, that your equipment would just magically have a fuel pack or whatever, though. It makes no sense. Seems like something that I would have to go for, like find and then equip. Um, well, since I'm
Doors you interact with while in stealth no longer alert enemies at the last tier. Interesting. So they can notice doors. Sneaky archer incoming. See anybody like walking around or anything? So I'm guessing it's gonna be somebody inside or people inside. Bad people, bad jokes. How do you keep an idiot in suspense? The plan has bullet time.
These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Whoa, deep lore is uncovering itself before our own eyes. read these books later. A lot of the stuff that I've picked up for books is just like copies of books that exist in the real world, uh, but like little blurbs from them, little excerpts, not the full thing. I don't need to sit here and waste time doing that. Not that reading is bad, I enjoy reading. But we, we are here to play a game. Like, I don't need to read The Fruit Cellar. I don't think reading this will affect me knowing anything in this game. Let's see. The King of Horror. Step aside, Stephen King. scary. Maybe digipicks are like the lock picks of this game. 
I did. I don't know why that just clicked for me. It just gives no fucking description for it. invert the functionality of this where I have to hold F to bring up the scanner and press F to use the flashlight this is like such backwards control schemes they really think the player is going to be using the scanner more than the flashlight can throw corpses. Yes, that's awesome.
wish I could control him and tell him to stop following me everywhere. Captain, we should continue. Good, I'm taking pictures I don't want to. Just more clutter. Delete it later. How do you go up and down? Left and right click, okay. Okay, I think it's just these two guys. Abuse using the photo mode and just see who's in the room like this. Something's out there. like the slow motion kills cuz that sucks if they did It's like really rare I just don't see how that could even happen anymore if there's no more bats or anything There's just like a somewhat satisfaction to seeing like, you know, somebody die to your final shot or whatever. It's in a cinematic way. Bolt cutter.
Fried and spiced alien worms. Yum. Wow. If you use this. Research projects require fewer resources for 10 minutes. I should have used that earlier. I'm going to keep some of this food. I don't know if I can use it for... I guess not this. Expecting the TV to move at all.
there's an item in there and I want it. I'm gonna have to like glitch this in or something. Yeah. Grab the entire thing. I can. I did it all for a chunk of egg. There's gotta be a way to bring this closer to my face. There just has to. What would the button be? the scroll wheel. You just have to pick it up when it's closer to you, I guess. Just weird. Really weird.
Trying to reload my gun. That really confused me for a second. Why can't it? There. Okay. That guy was glitching out or something. I got a laser rifle. I don't know if that's good. I assume it is.
bloodshed. Like I was standing next to him, shooting at him, and just somehow missing. And now I have to cross her off, but I feel like I wasn't off at all. Maybe I'm misjudging where the center is. thing or something it just like broke free now it's killing everyone oh interesting you can like house your own messages on this thing oh I wonder if you can cr like craft this as a thing and then like If you were to build a base somewhere, you could put them all up on display some somehow, you know? If you just made a bunch of these.
to Unix system. Like generic space alien. Gotta make it simple. Oh, here, okay. It is, it is the lockpick. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Okay, each key can only be used once, so it's yeah, single-use lockpick. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, so we're like filling in the gaps here. So... I don't know what button I'm hitting, it's the same... Like, did I do something wrong? Did it first try? Detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Hold on, I'll be right back.
sorry, I'm back. What does this mean in relation to this? I don't... Maybe it means slot key as in put it in where you're selected. That's gotta be what that means. Plan your moves ahead by looking at the, the the move list or whatever, almost like Tetris. It shows you what's coming next. Oh, we did it! Ooh, okay. Five XP was really worth it. We did it, buddy. It occurred to me that you have undergone considerable physical and emotional trauma since first meeting Barrett. That is not uncommon. stuff in this one. Science crate. Epic item. Also, I'm over encumbered now. I got an incendiary modified Grendel. Protocol Indigo, I will happily carry whatever you need. I'm sworn to carry your burdens.
Oh, I think we're about to get our first like dialogue with uh, you gotta enemies. Be kidding me. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? What's your problem with Barrett, anyways? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, great. Um, which tells me that this choice will not matter. Because they don't give a shit about Barrett. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That Constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets. And it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Ooh, a new option. Persuade. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. Oh, I guess I had a roll and I lost the choice. Yeah. Oh, what? Wait. I see. This is like super risky. It probably won't work. This might work, but probably won't. This is the safest bet. Hey, if you want to trade chips, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyways. I'm not falling for that. Shit. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Um. Oh, I see, and I lost that chance now that I said that. I should have done that one instead of that. I fucked up. Oh, no, 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 I see. Scroll back up. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. They aren't? You sure? The ship doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. You're lying. We're getting oh, what's okay, on that I get ship. It. I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! So, okay. Uh, if that was confusing at all. Um, so I, I had choices to make, and I had to meet the persuasion amount in the bottom corner. And... You only have so many turns before they give up and say, no, it's time to fight. Yeah, I get it. Combat is not my primary function.
You wish to kill us and take our belongings. <laughs> he just jumps off and goes towards him. I love this robot. These criminals really should be incarcerated. I wasn't looking at my health. Oh no, the first death. Well, I guess we could do the dialogue again. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? I'm gonna pick the same things I did before. We don't have a problem with bear. Okay, so you can still skip dialogue by left clicking. Oh, <laughs> that constellation keeps. That statement is partially correct. The front, the only things held in. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett pro. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay, yeah, you have it wrong. Not treasure hunters. I'm probably not gonna make this check, but I can still try. Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. Yeah, no, it's definitely forcing me to combat. You're lying. We're getting oh, wow. what's on that ship. I got even worse. Beating up people like you is how I get my kicks, you know. I, I, don't move. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We nice. should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. If only it were that easy. Right in front of me. Oh, I understand. You wish to kill us and take our belongings.
I don't know where that guy just died. And this is very unhelpful. Oh, maybe that's it? Is that a body? Okay. So, green is like materials to mine. Blue seems like organic things. What? There's still somebody alive. You ran out of O2. Further exertion will cause a CO2 buildup. What the fuck? Oh, um, that's telling me I sprinted too much. It's your stamina. It, that's all it is. Okay. I thought it was, like, some fucking meter or something that I had to worry about. Like, you must recharge your oxygen. You could do this, you know? Yeah, I'm, that's probably what it does, yeah. If I, if I run too much, it'll start negatively affecting me and make me um, have to use items or rest before. Oh, you don't have a gun or something? Place them here on this planet. Remember Elder Scrolls? Do you remember? Oh man. I hope I don't die before the next one comes out. I really like to play that game. So far, this game is okay. Um, like, you know, five hours in or whatever. It's Fallout in space. I'm enjoying it for what it is. Well, I'm not really a huge fan of Fallout. I find the, the gunplay to be quite atrocious. And it's pretty awful in this game as well. Uh, but I can only imagine it'll get better over time. Uh, the, the lack of vats I feel like it makes it even worse. Not that I need vats to win, but... Like, what was that? Like, directly on the enemy, and it does nothing. I should have scanned them. I guess I still can. Oh no, I can't. Or... I've already scanned it. No, I think it has to be alive to scan it. It's kind of stupid.
the whole planetoid is mapped, you can climb it? No. Not at all. It's fake open world. If I walked so far that in that direction, I will hit a point where it tells me you cannot walk any further. Fast travel to your ship or turn around. Like I think it prompts you like with a, you know, a choice of hitting a button. And when you look at the map, if I can look at the map at all, this so when you're looking at the map here, you can set a landing target, which means like, you know, you can find a random spot on the map and click it and you'll land there. Um, I say the map, I should really be saying the planet. And when you click somewhere and create a landing s spot, it generates a map in that spot. So these waypoints are like mini zones, they're just maps. And you can only have so many of them. I can't remember how many it is. Uh, before it starts automatically deleting the previous ones. So... I, I don't know how that handles, like, if you built bases on them or what. Like, maybe it won't let you set another landing spot or something? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure somebody has already tested this. But uh, you only get so many, and so it's like an illusion of a planet. And it, you know, every every time you create a new one, it's randomly generating a new map. So it's like, oh, I, I haven't been to this part of the planet before. I wonder what secrets could be held here. And it's just you relying on the RNG to show you something new. So, again, how do you make a, over a thousand planets meaningful to visit? I don't know. I have yet to see. But I imagine there's going to be certain certain planets in the, uh, the solar system or whatever, the galaxy, that we're just always going to be going back to because they house certain... Uh, you know, home pl planets for uh, certain things. So, like, I'll have to go to a certain planet to go visit the main cities or whatever, you know? And there's all this. Whatever this means. You know, you can see all this, but, I, like, can you even go anywhere else? I don't know. What are these red... Uh, these red... Surely you can go to these spots. So I think they've... Like, here's our solar system. We can't go there yet. I am eager to visit Earth. We'll see it eventually. I'm more focused on the story at the moment. I'm wondering what the hell I'm even doing in this game. Again, it's it's keeping my interest. I do love space a lot. I just wish I had a little more freedom. I wish it wasn't all instanced. Again, like No Man's Sky. How how old is that game now? That, that game does it just fine. So you would think that Bethesda would be able to figure it out too, but I guess not. It's okay though. It's... It doesn't really seem to have a whole lot of loading, uh, Captain, loading scenes. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. Yeah. 
It really wants me to fast travel. It keeps prompting me to do it. Uh, again, I think it's really going to force the player to rely on auto or um, like fast travel for a majority of this game. Go, yeah, here we go to sleep. Like, what even time is it? I don't know. What is local time? Like, what? There is no time in space. Morning, noon, and night are non existent. Morning now, I guess. I don't know. Like, I really don't want to fucking fast travel, but I will just have to shut down. I cannot believe it's still showing me that goddamn message. Select messages in the bottom section. Yes. Okay, this. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Okay. Okay, and then we jump, and it's using that much fuel. I cannot turn off the tutorial, I would have done it if I could. At least I don't think you can. I'll, I'll look after this, hold on. I'm pretty sure you can't. Oh, I have to power it up. Okay, so let's see. It would be here, and it's nowhere. And you think maybe interface. Nope. Turn this up a little bit. Okay, so I need to power up my grav jump shield, or uh, not shield, uh, drive. So I, sh I could maybe lower the shield, or what I'll actually do is just turn off the lasers and the guns. Now we can jump. It's beautiful. Oh, straight into a load screen. Amazing. That 
That would have been so much cooler without seeing the little thing in the corner. And it, have it showing... Have it showing, like, the warping effect as you're loading, instead of just blackness. Nothing. Like, I wanted to see more of that warp effect. How hard could it be to keep that on screen? Whatever. Back to the dialogue. Sorry for cutting this guy off. The colony security. Maintain coordinates.